guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and it is December 2nd. We are up and going today, and we are headed to Isabella's dance class this morning. Then hopefully at some point today, we'll be able to trim the second tree, the tree that's in the front of the house, because we haven't had a chance to get to that yet because I got bogged down with getting those photo books done yesterday, which I did, hooray. So if you're a family member and you're watching, it's not a surprise what your Christmas gift is, but anyhow, I got them done, so that's a plus. And uh, so today we have dance class, and then I basically need to work on getting the house cleaned up today. We need to work on the tree in the front of the house and then getting out some more decorations. So that's what the plan is for today. And other than that, it should be a pretty low-key day. Natalie's already up and going. She's dressed as Rapunzel today. And we've got to get yeah. Isabelle in her dance gear. What? So these two are enjoying playing with the fire station that Natalie got for her birthday. And the cats are snuggled up so cute up here. They use these other as pillows. And I moved those snowflake pillows in here because I thought that they went better with the decor in here. A little bit more so than the other room. Plus I had red pillows that went with the red tree in there a little bit more. So we're going to get our shoes and socks on and head out to go to Bella's dance class. Can you show me your balance? There you go. Alright, done with dance class. She got an Olaf sticker and a My Little Pony sticker. So we are going to head home and have lunch and then hopefully maybe try to work on the Christmas tree. We're home, we're having lunch, everyone's having something a little different because we're having leftovers or their favorites. Natalie's going to have a sandwich and Isabella's going to have some chicken. And we have those yellow apples left over from Thanksgiving, so eat lunch. So we have a little bit of playtime and I'm going to go get everything ready to do the tree in the front of the house. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right, so I just got the second round of boxes upstairs from the basement, and this is why you should always bring your things up from the basement before you go. I didn't buy anything else, but I was like, oh, I think I need to buy a tree for the playroom. I totally forgot that I've been using this fiber optic tree that I've had for a long time, like since college. He's so excited. Natalie's very excited. In the playroom, so we'll just put Disney ornaments on this, so I won't have to go buy another tree. And I found this over, I have kind of like a Christmas overflow area from where my main decorations are. I got this on like super clearance. I can't remember how much percent off it was, but I think I got this for like, hey, I want to say like somewhere between four and six dollars last year on clearance in like January. So this is going to go in with our more like sparkly tree. So I really like this. So that's a new addition. Is it sparkly? It's a sparkly poinsettia. So we're going to start getting all this stuff out. These are the garland that goes on the stairs. We're going to decorate the tree that's in the front and then start putting all of our decorations out. we got to see what all we have in here. And you guys have trees for your rooms? And in my room. Yep, in your room. So we're going to start opening everything up and seeing what everything is. And then also in my dining room, I've got to find... Oh, here, here's one. I have Christmas linens that I just leave upstairs in case I can use them for other holidays. So this one's the one for our round table. And then I have other Christmas stuff that I just leave in this year round. I just leave all these plates and everything. So there's a couple things. Like that got stuck in there, I think, at the end of the year. But there's some things in here I'll have to go through as well. And start pulling out these. So these things I found it was just better to store in the buffet. So clean off the table and then put that on there. All right, I've got to move everything around in here a little bit more, but that's the little fiber optic tree I'll have in here. Then I'll let the girls put some Christmas ornaments on it. And the only problem with this particular spot, because all this has changed since last year, so I kind of had to figure out where we wanted to put it, is it covers up the calendar. So I need to change out this board, and I'll just move the calendar over here for Christmas time. And then we'll put some Christmas Disney ornaments on this and then use Natalie's little hat as a topper on this one. I think that'll be cute. And both the girls just started kind of reading independently. So I'm going to try to get some decorations put out while they do this. It was just kind of a spontaneous. So Natalie's over there reading. And Bella's sitting here on the couch reading. Here's all of Bella's artwork from last year that she did. My gingerbread woman. And this is what I set my little gingerbread house on. Nativity scene that she made at school last year. I think that's cute. And a little tree. And we made these at home. 
And so I'm going to start digging through this stuff. What I'd really like to find, I have to find before Thursday, actually. There's our elf. I'm going to wait till like, probably this weekend to start doing the elf thing. Oh, they made these last year, too. Aren't those cute? And I, what I need to find, what I started to say, is I have Jingle Bells for the Polar Express. This goes with our gingerbread house. And so I need to find those Jingle Bells because I need to use them for the Polar Express activities <laughs> that we're doing on... Thursday, so I need to, I don't remember which box I stuck them in, and I know for sure I didn't mark the outside. So I just leave a list for myself, like a general list of what's inside the boxes, so I know for next year, but I'm pretty sure I probably didn't write, you know, jingle bells on these, if, yeah. So that one was mainly kid stuff, but there was no jingle bells in there. This one has mainly like my mugs and my kitchen stuff. Some extra plates and decorative things for the kitchen, and then also, um, I don't know, there's all kinds of kitchen stuff to find inside this one. But honestly, it leaves this box because I think this is about the last one. The jingle bells have to be down inside here somewhere. Oh, here's my runner for my front table. I got these two signs last year. I really like these. I found that one at Ross. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I love that one. And then this one I got at Kirkland's. Here's Natalie's teeny tiny tree for her room. And I still haven't come up with jingle bells. There's the jingle bells on something that Isabella made. Maybe they didn't get stuck somewhere very random. I'm just gonna have to go through all the bins today and try to make an effort. This purple one's Bella's tree. Try to make an effort to find them. So these are the non-seasonal plates that I have on my plate holder and I'll put up these plates that I got at Pier 1. And I got these plates either last year or the year before, but Pier 1 usually always has similar items for a few years in a row if you need something like this for decorative plates. Alright, then I just put the Merry Christmas sign above that so that plate area is done now. Oh yeah? yeah. Alright, we are in the living room and we're going to decorate our living room tree. Yeah, Hello. We're going to start off with these. And they're kind of like champagne colored, green. And these are a little bit different girls because they have like hooks on them. So let me show you how these work. We used these last year, but it's been a while. All right, so you just hook the hook over the branch. Okay? So Natalie, you just take that and you put it over the branch. Branch? Yeah. There you go. Perfect, Isabella. Oh, I like it. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful. Good job. It's so cute. Or six. Or seven. Can you find a spot and put it on? I can't do it. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Can you got one? Alright, you can put that one on. Did you find two more? Can you put those on the top? Good job, Natalie. Natalie's an ornament machine. <laughs> My name's Bonnie. Bonnie? I'm an ornament. Yay! Yay! One for you, one. One. All right, go ahead and put them on the tree, please. To you. Just fluff things a little bit more. I have a holly jolly. Put your snuff like there. I'm having a holly jolly Christmas. You're having a holly jolly Christmas? Yeah. Catch me! Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> All right, last one. Go ahead and put it on the tree, please. Da, 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 da. I'm ready for it. Ready, ready. Yes. Got it. You got it. Yeah. Do these ones. <laughs> A pile of birds. This is a pile of birds. All right, that is all the ornaments for this tree. Mommy has to go pick up a couple more, I think, this year. I want to get some more of these sparkly snowflakes. I'm pretty sure these came from Hobby Lobby. I really like those. I cannot remember where these came from. 
And then I think that both of these bird ornaments came from, oops, that just came off Kirkland's. So I might go get some more. All right, so that's how it's gonna stay for now. The camera doesn't like focusing on the lights. Anyhow, that's how that's gonna stay for now. And then I'm gonna go start putting out the rest of the stuff around the house. And this is like our one seasonal toy. It's a visit from Santa from Fisher Price. We've had this for about two or three years, I think. But it's nice because they just start with the Christmas stuff and then they, I like it. they forget about it and then they remember it all over again. The there's all the little figures that go with it. There's Santa and there's a little girl. I think there's a little baby somewhere. Yeah, and the sleigh. Let's we'll see if this had batteries in it still. I am like last year we Santa took the batteries Claus. out. Yeah, Mommy, so we'll need to put batteries in it, I think. Claus. Unless it's turned off. Oh, nope, there. It's got batteries in it. All right, so there you go. If you push this part up right here, that's what makes it go up and down. So then put Santa, where did Santa go? Yep, that's what makes him go ho, ho, ho. See, he moves up and down. And this is a little Santa hat for their Build-A-Bears, so we'll get that out. <laughs> And my gingerbread advent calendar that I set on my kitchen counter. I love this thing. I got this in 2011 for myself for decoration. And it was like one of the best purchases I've ever made for myself. I love this thing. I have just like a little wire tree that I've used on my desk forever. I don't even remember where it came from. And I have the girls Christmas hats. One for you, one for your sister. Ah, yay! <laughs> Let me see you, Isabella. You have your Santa hat on? Mm-hmm. Can you put mine up? You went flipped over? Here. You had it on, right? Natalie's ear says, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, two little Santas playing in here. Cookie house. We've got a little bit of our Disney side stuff to go up as well. I'll we'll put that in the playroom. And they also have their little Merry Christmas penguin in here, too. And I use these guys to decorate on my mantle. I just ordered the prints from Shutterfly when I ordered the Christmas cards and the photo books last night, but I'm gonna try that there. I don't remember where I, oh, you know what? I used to put this in the dining room, so I might have to see if that goes in the dining room. Oh, good job, did you get it zipped on your own? Mm -hmm. Good job. Now this goes in my purse room. That's kind of like a cash guard type of thing. These are all my little spoon rests. I love spoon rests. I have an unhealthy obsession with spoon rests and tea towels. As you will probably see in this box, I love spoon rests for some reason. I don't know what it is, but they're just useful and cute. That one says tree spoon rest. There's another tree spoon rest. <laughs> like I said, unhealthy obsession. There's Mickey and Minnie salt and pepper shakers. My holiday spatulas, I'll change out everything that's over there in my cooking area. All right, so I changed out all of those things and they have a super cute little candy crane stripe little whisk at Target this year that I'm gonna get, it's like this one. And mine has started to crack anyway, so I'm gonna get the candy cane one and that'll kind of finish that area off. The gingerbread, and I have to figure out which spoon rest I'm gonna put over here. Well, now I've been through almost all the boxes and I'm starting to get kind of concerned because I can't find those jingle bells. And I know I got them right at the end of the year last year, so I might have stuck them somewhere weird. And I'm wondering where that would be. And this one is all mugs. There's well, these little postcard things. These are cute. Because we'll have everyone over for dinner, so I'll have all this stuff out whenever we serve food. So all this stuff is very useful, just not what I'm looking for today. So the kids are laying down taking a rest. I'm just trying to get as much of this Christmas stuff out as possible and then I will take the bins back downstairs. So far, I cannot find those jingle bells, which I need for an activity on Thursday. So I'll be making an emergency jingle bell search run tomorrow or something. But I'm hoping that they will pop up. I'm pretty sure they even like ended up in a haul at some point. So I may have to go back through my videos and see like what else I bought around that time to see if maybe they got stuck in something. I. For the life of me, I cannot find them. I think I have all the bins upstairs, but I had to go check the basement. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the majority of rest times, trying to figure out where those jingle bells are and getting Christmas stuff out. For my main 
kitchen counter I have the Scentsy Gingerbread Warmer. Then I have the matching smaller warmer for the bathroom. This is the little bathroom one, so I'll put this up in here. And this is my little Santa with Dancing Reindeer. And I'm really reasonably certain I have a small little warmer like this and a bigger size counter one warmer that are the Mr. Bluster or the Snowman, whatever that was. So I may be missing a Christmas box still because I haven't come across those snowman ones, so I'm going to have to go back and look in the basement. And I'm burning Scentsy Cider Mill right now. Down in this box I have some of my Christmas ornaments from when I was a little kid. So I'm going to get some of those out and then I have some more contemporary ones in a Disney box that I need to still go get from the garage. So I'm going to see probably these ones I'm not going to put on there because these are very breakable. So I'm going to save the breakable ones for maybe when the kids are a little bit older. I'm going to go through here and see what will work to go on their tree for this year. There's more of my old Christmas ornaments down in here. There's me. I had horrible, unstraight bangs. This is why my kids don't have bangs. <laughs> okay, so I just went down to the basement and I'd missed not one, but three bins. I didn't realize I hadn't brought them up. So I'm going to start bringing that stuff up, but I found these two things to go in my living room. And I found the Jingle Bells. Hooray! So I'm going to bring all that stuff upstairs. Okay, so this bin has a lot of Disney stuff that I need to go through. Some of the stuff that's breakable I won't put out this year, but then I know some of the stuff like this goes on my mantle. I had it set to 365 days last year. So I'm going to go through here and see what all we're going to put up this year. We're going to see if this will work over the kids' art area up here. That works, kind of. It's a little close, but I just need to switch over most of the artwork to more Christmassy type of stuff. All right, so I think I have this tree about full. I think this is just how I'm going to leave it. And some of these ornaments are pretty heavy. In fact, I tried putting a couple on there that were just way too heavy, and I had to take them off because this tree can't support them. So I tried to use the lighter ones. So that would be it, and I'll go get the little hat to put on this tree to top it. And this was that extra bag of stuff that I got from last year that I just got kind of the end of the season on Good Deals. And it was kind of stuck over there by the extra bin, so that's why... I missed it the first time I was looking for it, but I'm pretty sure there should hopefully be at least one or two Jingle Bells down inside here for our Polar Express. So the mail just got here, and I got a number of the Black Friday things that I ordered. This is from JCPenney's, and I was like, well, that's awfully small, but I ordered two sweaters in addition to the comforter that I ordered. So I got J part of my JCPenney's. And then my husband got something from Tiffany & Company, but I'm not going to open that because I have a feeling I know what that is. So I got these two sweaters, and these were on, like, a Black Friday deal for, like, $9. So I've never tried these before, but I'm hoping they'll be okay for $9. My Sephora Black Friday order. And I'm going to be showing these on Bags for Bubbles and like a gift, like my kind of like gift selections that I'm doing over there. But these were some of the Black Friday selections that I made for different people. And then I also got this 500 point gift. This is a really good L'Occitane gift. So I'm excited about those. And these little Black Friday things are always super cute. We've got the tree and the little package next to it lit in the family room. And the kids are probably going to be done with rest time here in a couple of minutes. I'm going to start making a pumpkin cheesecake. And that's going to use those little tiny pie things for. And I'm going to put it in a larger pie tin and then just put the overflow into those smaller ones. So I'm going to start trying to mix it up real quick. And hopefully get at least that much done before the kids wake up from their rest time. And I will share the video down below. I did a video of this like a year or two ago. I got this at our grocery store and I've never seen the recipe there since I picked this up. So it's just a recipe I picked up at the grocery store and I work roughly basically off of this, what it says to do. Nelly's awake. And we're going to put the pies in the oven. So Bella helped me smooth out the pie and then we're going to make these teeny tiny little pies. They're so cute. So here's the cute little tiny pies, and actually we used all six of them, and then there's the bigger pies. So I'm going to stick these in the oven for about an hour. So Natalie just found the Frozen book. We're going to read this after snack. This is the one that I found at Toys R Us a while back. It's so we just read The Christmas Party, okay. and it had ornaments in it that we can punch out. So we're going to put those on our tree in the playroom. So I had to go run and get these extra strings and the Christmas boxes. All right, so we're going to put our frozen ornaments on our Disney tree, and this lights up. Disney tree. Uh, Disney tree, you were asleep when Mommy put this up. <coughs> See if I can get the on and off switch here. So, you uh, hang them where you can get to them, and I'll hang some up high, okay? 
And these will be good. These will complete it off really nicely. And these are nice and light, so they're perfect for this tree. Ah! Then it's got Natalie's little hat here on the top. So it's a little bit later. We just had vegetable soup for dinner. And these are the tiny little pies. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. But they're so cute. And we just read Mickey's Christmas Carol. That was a cute one. I got this on clearance at Barnes & Noble, I think, after last Christmas. So this was a good find. Fell off the rooftop. So that's it for today's vlog, and we'll be back tomorrow with another Vlogmas vlog. My husband and I are going to go watch the movie Maleficent, so I'm very excited to see that. So I'll have to see what I think of it, and hopefully it'll be pretty good. I'm also very excited about the new Cinderella movies that's coming out, too. I really want to go see that in the theater, so hopefully the girls will be able to sit through that, too. So thanks for watching today, and have a great day.